hi guys welcome to this video in this video we are going to create a shotgun muzzle brake using creo parametric or else we can say this as a compensator okay like uh, which will be used on a gun okay a weapon so uh, i have done this compensator on the live session itself so if you want to uh, uh, like learn from the scratch you can go for the live session i have added the live link on the description okay so in this video i'm just going to uh, explain what i have done okay so on the live session i don't have used the uh, microphone okay so that's why i was just have uploading this video okay so first of all let me just uh, make it quick so first of all i just have uh, drawn two circles with a diameter of 90 and 100 okay so after that i just have extruded that circle as a single side extrude with a length of 360 okay so after that on the other end select the surface and go for the sketch so on that draw a circle with the inner reference and one more circle with a diameter of 200 okay so after that extrude that sketch to a length of 36 towards forward after that i'm just going to add some couple of round features here i have added four and on the opposite it will be four after that ne the next sketch is on that same outer surface again i'm just going to sketch it here the same reference circle of the previous circle okay so that also i'm just going to extrude that to a length of 110 okay and then i'm just going to add some couple of round features at the joint of these two circles okay so here i have added a round value of three okay and then on the next I'm just going to uh, sketch on the right plane I think so let me just confirm it with it yeah here we have what plane we have I think this is this is right yeah right plane okay so sketch on your right plane so from the light plane from this edge draw a rectangle to a length of 440 and the height reference is up to the previous reference value okay so then from here plot a point okay the point distance is 20 and from this point to the other point draw an arc and the arc the radius will be 12 okay so after doing this uh, don't forget to draw the center line because we are going to use the revolve tool for creating the path okay okay so the next feature is the round feature so here we have done an arc feature right so on these both edges i'm just going to add a round feature of value 12. so after that i'm just going to uh, sorry i just go for the edit reference okay so next sketch on the inner surface okay so uh, this section how can i say is wait 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 here we can be able to uh, select a surface okay Here you can when you turn back here you can be able to see the closed surface here right in this back side so from this back side select the inner surface here select the surface and go for the sketch okay so on that sketch draw the circle to the inner reference of the smaller circle okay draw a circle and anyway that will be a remove material feature so remove that throughout remove material feature okay we don't have any we don't want to specify any some specific value okay so after that um on this top surface go for the sketch here we have to draw a circle with the diameter of 150 and same we have to remove material the feature but here the remove material length will be the up to surface so what surface is like you can see the rounded edge here so that is what i have selected here you can see um okay i'm just going to make it like this uh yeah so now you can see this line so we have to select up to this line okay so that's all we have done a remove material feature so the next thing here i have done is okay i think uh, this is for the whole feature okay so create a plane this is not a specific value you can go on with your own value because this is just for the creating a profile on the previous thing for the circular either you can make like apart from this like uh, the value should be higher from this point okay so after creating that plane go for the sketch on the plane so here our sketch will be a rectangle 
sorry yeah a line wait let me hide this preview yeah okay here we can't able to see the dimensions okay so from the mid line draw a straight line okay so the line length uh what about the line length wait the dimensions are hidden with the black color yeah so first of all draw a bottom line here so the bottom line the height will be 16 and the length of 28 so after that you, you, you like you can be able to find this line right so from this line okay draw a slanted line here so then go for the dimensions select this point and select this point and uh, click on your mouse scroll button and then you can adjust the value of 16 so do the same on the other side and complete the sketch okay so once after done this you have to go for the remove material feature extrude let me show that extrude so you have to extrude remove material you can um, like you can increase the length up to that what you want okay so after that you can go for the pattern so this is our pattern the pattern will be number of members is 10 and equally space as 360 okay so after that the next sketch here is for the profile so for the profile use the right plane okay so on the right plane here you can see at the distance of 16 draw a rectangle with a width of 28 and the height of 48 and on the edges of the rectangle try to make a tangent arc like this and complete your sketch okay so this will be also a remove material feature uh, I think what is this pattern okay this yeah this is a like a remove material feature right so after creating this single profile you have to go for the pattern and you have to make this as a uh, yeah okay once you make this a circular pattern and you can go for the direction pattern or else you can go for the direction pattern like this and then you can make that as a circular pattern okay so first of all select the extrude go for the axis pattern select the middle axis and like number of numbers is 5 equally placed okay so after that after creating these five profiles go for the pattern again by selecting the pattern okay so here you can see the pattern is under this pattern right so okay so after selecting that you can see the five we have to select all these and go for the direction pattern select the axis or select the plane which direction you want okay after selecting the direction go for the numbers as 7 and spacing as 60 okay and you can see the circular profiles has been created among this like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay so pattern is done and then our round features so on this edge i have added a round of value 2 okay so the next one is on a sketch so yeah this is for the design okay if you want you can add it at the distance of 30 on this reference draw a circle with a diameter of 6 and don't forget to draw a center line because we are going to use revolve remove material feature okay so next one is revolve I have just used a revolved remove material feature so the next one is one more sketch for the same profile here where I'm going to repeat the same thing 45 distance and 6 diameter as a center line and do the revolve okay so the next one is round I just handed a round value of 2 here and the next one is is the stripe yeah the same again from this edge at the distance of 80 diameter of 6 okay so this is for my own designs you can see here um this is okay and make it as a round as a 2 and same sketch here 6 6 6 6 so if you want dimension i can be able to show that diameter of 4 sorry this will be diameter of 4 okay and this equally spaced is 7 and from this edge it will be level 0.21 I think here also it will be the same as 11.21 yeah equally spaced and okay center line and revolve that okay and round for all these I think the round value will be uh, somewhat different yeah round value will be one for all these okay so the next one is the text sketch here I have added our like creo name here for the text and extruded that and one more sketch for making that remove material feature you, you can see here the text is fully like this so i have to cut out the extra portions here so i just have used the remove material like uh, extrude cut feature for this okay so the next one is uh, the same i have created one plane 
for the text on the other side okay so for the you can see the made in usa okay so i took a image reference so i just want to mention all these things over here to make it realistic okay so after that same extrude and uh, yeah same text extrude okay and i think like definitely you guys have been wondered about this color because the color texture looks realistic right so the color is uh i have used three colors in here one is you can see that like this selected surface this all these will be misc fabricated black here you can see under the misc go for a misc under misc fabric fabricated black this one another black and the next one is the normal ptc ceramic for the text here and the final color you can see like a realistic part in here so that will be i think metallic scratch sorry silver scratch so in this silver scratch i have edited something um, here you can see on the color it will be 104 for all rgbs and on the bump i've made it as a rough in default it will be image make it as a rough and height it will be minus 20 and scale as 100 okay so that's all i hope you guys have understood in this video okay guys so let's see an interesting content on our next video so until then bye